Good evening, beloved to Christ. Just a few hours ago, we finished the Matins of Holy Saturday, also known as the Lamentation Service. Ordinarily, uh, this is one of the most well-attended services of the year, and it's certainly one of the most meaningful to people. Um, I've shared that this was probably my second thought right after I found out uh, that I was coming as the pastor to St. Michael Church here in Louisville. Uh, it was, wow, I can't wait for Holy Week and Pascha, and in particular, um, Friday evening for this service. I've been feeling something like a survivor's guilt. If you've heard of survivor's guilt before, people who uh, oftentimes are the lone survivor in a car accident uh, or in a plane crash or something like that, they feel a certain guilt for making it through and then getting to keep something that other people had lost. And in a sense, that's what it's felt like being in a church that would otherwise be full and now feels rather empty. And then I leave those services uh, and I get on Facebook because that's one of the most effective ways for, for me to do ministry here during this quarantine. And I really don't like social media, if I'm going to be very honest. But I get on Facebook and then uh, I see all of my parishioners and other Orthodox friends uh, who would have been in church tonight and who are mourning and they've tried to be faithful and make do with the virtual or cyber church offerings that we presented, but they're sad. And then I was glad to have been there, but I was saddened that the crew was so minimal. And then saddened that I got something that other people didn't. And I feel a little cheated that this is my first Holy Week with this beautiful community here in Louisville. And I was wondering what I was going to say tonight, when I found these words by a friend of mine. This is by Nicholas Chapman, who is the bookstore manager at Holy Trinity Seminary in Jordanville. He's also an Antiochian uh, and uh, attends a church there in upstate New York. Uh, he was one of the few in his crew uh, let in to help um, pray uh, for this remnant group, but also, of course, I'm sure to help broadcast the services. This is what Nicholas had to say in looking at an empty church for a service that would otherwise probably have quite a few people. He said this, So few permitted, but so many angels present, to give glory to the Lord crucified, crucified on the cross for our salvation. So few permitted, but so many angels present. The churches are never empty. And even though you may not have been able to be physically in the church, know that even now your homes are not empty and devoid of the worship of God. If you are a chrismated Orthodox Christian, then we have a hope and we have a proclamation that you have a guardian angel that is present with you, interceding on your behalf and trying to guide you and guard you. Where we see emptiness, we don't know what God sees. And it just might be that God sees abundance. Where we see a lack of servants, and movement, and people. God could see much worship and many beings giving him honor and praise. And so we're separated from our brothers and sisters, from our fellow parishioners. You might be separated from your beloved church, but there are angels with us in the parish when we worship, and there are angels at home with you when you pray. Thanks be to the God who gives us comforters and messengers, who gave us a heavenly host to guide us and correct us, and to join us in offering praise and worship, which are due to God alone. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.